What's up party people? Hope you're doing good. I decided to do this video standing because I know standing is better than sitting. After noticing I make videos every day, I thought I could change something about it to make myself a better person. So here I am, standing, improving my life. It's the little adjustments that help. Anywho, I was supposed to wake up at 8 o'clock this morning. Didn't happen. I had a bunch of stuff going on in the afternoon and I knew that I was gonna work out later. The workout didn't happen until 6 p.m., but it happened. I waited for it to get a little not too hot. It was actually really nice outside. Nice little run, did some squats, and here I am. I promised you a little tip and here it is. The tip of the day is to modify your workouts if you can't do it exactly how you were taught. If you ever did P90X, Insanity, T25, any of those instructional videos, you might have thought, yo, these movements, man, like I could barely move. This T is supposed to, I'm supposed to be straight. I could barely, my back hurts. How am I supposed to? You know, you're, you're watching the videos, you're on YouTube, looking at the yoga videos, looking at the morning workouts, and you're just like, I can't do it. I simply can't do what they're doing, but guess what? These people have gone to a level that they are teaching you how to work out. They don't expect you to do those moves exactly how they do it. Shanti even has these modified little things that if you can't do this, do that. Because he knows not everyone can do the moves he is trying to showcase. Before you could even walk, you had to crawl. Before learning to run, you had to walk. Before dunking a basketball, you must learn how to jump. And before you could do any of those moves you're trying to learn on those instructional videos, you could modify the movements, even in yoga videos. I noticed some friends say like, oh, my fat gets in the way when I'm trying to do a move. Well, duh, it's there. Like, what are you supposed to do, make it disappear? That's not gonna happen. Yet. But if your fat's in the way, so be it. Go as much as you can. Do you feel the stretch? That's all that matters. Remember, yoga is just advanced stretching. But that advanced stretching is gonna get you really far in life. It's actually working on your longevity. And if you haven't tried yoga, I suggest try it out tomorrow. It's not easy but it'll help you out for the long run. So just a reminder, my tip is to take baby steps. No one is born an expert. Those people had to work. And maybe they worked since they were three years old and that's why they're better at 18 and you're 45. But then again, you're not supposed to be comparing yourself to others in the first place, so... I hope you take the right steps, even if they're baby steps, to get you forward in life. It's all about little steps and then taking those huge steps to realize, wow, I've gotten pretty far. But remember, it takes a lot of time, patience, and persistence. Keep in mind that this is a lifelong decision. You decided to get healthy, and it's not like you could just do it for three months and all of a sudden, you're good. You gotta keep doing it. You gotta realize there's no stopping in this. Once you work out, you sign a contract. I will never stop working out. Period! That's it. If you started working out, you know you're never gonna stop. You might get to your goal weight, you're gonna get the six pack, you're gonna have the chiseled chin, your face will look so different, your body looks exactly how you want. But after that, you gotta maintain it. It doesn't just stay there, you gotta keep working. And you can't skip steps. You can't maintain if you're not there yet. If you're not there yet, like me, you gotta take the right steps to get there. I'm excited to get there. It's gonna take me, I wanna say two to three years, maybe less, I don't know. Uh, I'm in no rush. I know that this is a lifelong thing. I'm very young and I'm very lucky to have this ambition at this age. So that's all I got for you today. I am so thankful that you watch these videos. If you could hit the like button, that literally will make me And if you could comment anything of your thoughts, I love to talk. I love hearing from you and I love responding to you. So hit those buttons or you can just go on and have a great night like you planned. I'm Keith, you'll see me tomorrow. Mm.